Tottenham kick off. Sunderland in a change trip of blue shirts and white shorts. Wanting to put behind them the disappointment of losing at home to Derby. Davenport. Mitchell Thomas going in crisply. Seven is Paul Stewart. An early show of strength, but the pass was easily picked off. Gaviadini. Oh, and uh, Davenport got a shot in. It was a mistake by Edinburgh here. Eagerly seized on by Davenport. Now Gascoigne. Singled out for special attention by the Sunderland supporters as a former Newcastle United man, of course. Ours. And here's Gaviadini. Davenport. Pascoe's got into the centre. He's still waiting. And Armstrong. Oh, it must be. It is for Pascoe. Nine minutes gone. And Sunderland are in front. A sustained attack, really. They were patient, and in the end, they penetrated because Armstrong was left by Van den Howe, and Torsbeck could only push it out to Pasco. Both sides are appealing, and it goes Tottenham's way. Naeem to take the throw. And Gascoigne getting the ball momentarily stuck under his feet, but it was only momentarily. And it was a nicely played one, too. But he was just leaning back as he struck the shot. Waiting for some movement. Stewart. Allen looking for a return pass, but Stewart uses Lineker. Well, the free kick's been given. Pasco suggesting that Lineker dived in that shoulder-to-shoulder uh, -shoulder with uh, Hardiman. Ian Hemley has given the free kick Tottenham's way. And with Gascoigne to take it, that could mean trouble here for Sunderland. Howells, now naive. No foul this time. And Sunderland sweeping forward with Bracewell. He's got options right and left. Davenport. Brandon Howe showing him the inside. It's come back off the foot of Thomas to Davenport. And it's 2-0 to Sunderland. Well, this season they haven't always got the reward for the quality of their play but they've come to White Hart Lane and taken a firm grip here in the first half of the first half Mitchell Thomas inadvertently setting up Peter Davenport well Ian Hemley has had to give way to injury to be replaced by his senior linesman in Edinburgh, hits it long Brandon Howe's cross it's an early one, oh and it produced a marvellous header but the goal has been ruled out by uh, referee Alexander maybe not for a foul by Howells was the pushing by Stewart. I think that's what the referee saw. Naive with a chance to attack Sunderland. Gascoigne almost getting in his way. 
Bennett cleared. Here's Pasco. And Sunderland certainly not to, sitting on their lead. They want to add to it. That's Gary Hours with a most enterprising effort. Saw Torsvet off his line, tried to chip the goalkeeper, who just got back to flip it over the top. Pasco to take the corner. The Sunderland support, which is, as always, terrific. They're really enjoying what they've seen so far. But they were relieved that the replacement referee ruled in Sunderland's favour when David Howells appeared to have scored for Tottenham. Tottenham looking for the direct route. His shirt first time, and it flashed just outside the post. Maybe Lineker following in had gone into an offside position. And surely he was offside there as the ball was struck. Bracewell. Pasco and Gaviadini. It's not going to count. Gabba trying to outshine Gaza here. The flag was up. There's a change for Tottenham. And Justin Edinburgh goes off. And Paul Walsh is asked here to lead Tottenham to recovery. Still two goals down. into the picture straight away. The linesman's flagging. Or I think what would have been a free kick to Tottenham, they're quite happy to settle for the throw. But they'll get their free kick now. And it's by Naeem. to 20 minutes into the second half and Walsh has put a different complexion on the match an inspired move by Terry Venables to bring him on and he answered the call at the near post Van and Howe has switched across to left back since the uh, departure of Edinburgh been handballed by Kay, it wasn't given, Tottenham had uh, possession in any case. Walsh tries again, deflected, it's another one for him. He was peering there to see whether it went in. He will certainly get the credit. But as we uh, see again, it was a fairly cruel deflection off Gordon Armstrong. Tottenham trying to complete the turnaround. Two goals down they were. It's 2-2 now. And Paul Walsh has come from the bench to really stimulate Spurs. Hours for Sunderland. Kay. And he stayed forward. Gabbiadini on the ball. Oh, and here comes Pasco. And Sunderland are back in front. Tottenham lost their concentration. It stayed at 2-2 for just six minutes. But Colin Pascoe came in from Gabbiadini's superb pass for his second of the game. Gabbiadini. Sunderland's policy still to keep on attacking. It's where their best work has come. And Gabbiadini! Just away from Davenport in the centre. 
if there'd been a goal there, that surely would have confirmed the victory, but is still not sure. Time running out for Tottenham. Gascoigne leaving Bracewell. Armstrong held Tottenham up momentarily. And Hardiman won't prevent the corner. Well, this is the moment of truth, really, for both sides. If Sunderland can survive this corner, then the three goals will have brought three points. Naeem takes it. Gaviadini gets it out. Still the referee lets play go on. And now they appeal for a penalty to Tottenham and they don't get it. And Sunderland's loyal fans with a huge roar with the ball back safely in the arms of Tony Norman. It's been a long journey, but they will feel a worthwhile one. He's done superbly. Now Walsh, who's tormented Sunderland since his arrival, and he's set up the equaliser for Lineker, who feels there's still time yet, maybe for Tottenham to win it. But surely they've saved one point. They were two goals down, and then 3-2 down. But their heads weren't down. And Walsh, having scored two, provides the third here for the ever-alert Lineker. Heartbreak for Sunderland. It's all over. 3-3, a thrilling afternoon and great credit to both sides.